Stunts fan here with Cinderin. Upper bracket TI11 secret versus PSG LGD. This is. That's oh. my voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that distracted me a bit. Uh, we are in game, though. This is going to be. I mean, this is a hype matchup. And the mid lane right now, Nisha sitting on 15 and 1 CS. As you can see, a little action top lane, Faith Beyond taking the brunt of the damage here. Chrysalis still with the Starbreaker, will fully connect. And that looks like first blood goes the way of Secret in this game number one. But maybe he still rates the aura higher. All right, got to see a little bit of a poke down here on bottom. Yeah, Poison Touch slowing a resolution to a crawly because the Zayat is coming, but it's going to be too late. So first kill for PSG LGD so far in this game. You scale incredibly well with few items, right? If you get a BKB on this hero, if you get some sort of utility. Ooh, nice close. snowball. Ends up getting out of the range of the Starbreaker, but it matters not because Puppy is here to play as well. So one kill for Secret as... Why? Now approach the Tier 1 tower will be fine. Resolution in the meantime. It's going to lose nothing to say. Actually, die to Zayats. Use that as a setup for a secondary stun, and then Leshrac with the third stun. Oh, but Snowball in onto the mid lane. Nisha already at half HP. And here comes nothing to say with the Rolling Thunder, but a big Solar Guardian coming in as well as Chrysalis trying to focus down Jin Q. They'll be successful eventually. If Faith beyond level six and a little bit of space in that top lane, he's happy to finally have a little bit of space away from this dawn. Secret but... find Ame. Zayats gets off the Impale, but see the ult coming out from the Lone Druid as Nisha is here with the Pulse Nova. Y gets up a nice Poison Touch. Nice blocks coming out from Zayat, but the Grave comes out as well. It's nothing to say is coming to try to help out his comrade, but oh, he actually does TP out just barely enough HP, and Nisha and company have to high tail away, but Nisha oh, gets blocked shard. in by the Ice Shards. Split Earth only hits on one. You can see Resolution trying to help him out. He actually dodges the Swashbuckle. Jin Q will be one to fall. And now they're going to turn this around. There's nothing to say as well. So it ends up being a two for one as Secret looked like they were going to lose out on that engagement, but a nice turnaround and a great voice line from Resolution. Perfect timing. With that said, though, they have come off to a pretty good mid-game situation now, where because Enigma's... Zayat's impale into the Solar Guardian. Ame gets off his ult again. Very not tanky even boy. Not remotely close to being enough damage when he gets the true form off. And it might cost Crystal this. Yeah, the, the snowball. snowball is going to connect. You can see the Lone Druid Bear going pretty ham here, but Puppy's there with the slow. And the hammer coming in now into Jin Q with the help of Resolution. So again, Secret getting the better of this engagement despite being the ones falling back initially in this fight. That was a good time to find that skill up point into Global Silence, preventing the Shallow Grave, a big team fight beforehand, because LGD can relatively easily go and contest the area. Um, Haste. Oh, yeah, nothing but... to say. He gets stunned right out of the gates. They don't even need the Solar Guardian. There's Nisha, and that's the kill with the Split Earth. 4k lead for Secret now. Uh -huh. They are absolutely destroying Starting to run away with it, as you see. Puppy's ult come out after the Frostbite, and Zayats is here with another Impale Starbreaker to finish off Jin Q. You were late on the grave there from Y. Kind of uncommon that he doesn't get that off in time. Like, LGD's lineup is kind of crafted to hit a timing right now and go and force your towers. So if you're the one setting the agenda, oh, you're already Poppy. really happy. Looking to tank the gank. Oh, the Global Science is giving some cover, and the Solar Guardian coming in as well. Jin Q is just punished right off the bat. Beautiful play from Secret as they just shut that smoke gank down immediately. And Zayat's looking for more. Oh, this could be big. They don't have, they don't have a Solar them. Guardian, though, yeah. Drop everything. Still trying. Gets off the Vendetta first. Actually gets the Impale as well. Crystals is here with the huge Starbreaker, and down goes Ame. And Secret starting to really run away with this. Yeah. Uh, speaking of resolution, he has the Falcon Blade into four staff. He's going to see a Starbreaker again come out. Faith Beyond caught out. His own side here. Zayat stuck inside the Ice Shards. Nothing to say. He's going to be blocked off by said Ice Shards. And the four staff that we just talked about from resolution coming into play already. The timing of Secret find this opportunity to get in there with Zayat. Yep, Roche going about down it. slowly. The Wraith packed inside as Nisha seems to have a decent oh. idea that this is happening. He's just going to walk right in with the Split Arc. Gets off the Pulse Nova and the Bloodstone ahead of time. The Solar Guardian on the outskirts as Zayats gets stunned. But nothing to say. Already gets off his Rolling Thunder. But a huge Starbreaker. Chrysalis deletes Faith Beyond. Jin Q quite, starting to get quite low as Puppy's the first to fall for Seeker. So it's a one for one. He's going to buy back into the game though. Double kill from Chrysalis coming out as well. And Nisha pretty much out of mana, but it's just enough to take out Ame. And now Y and company from LGD have to get the hell out of here as Seeker will likely get the Roche. Sure that quickly so if you guys would please get into a quarter health we'll just show up with our spells and clean you out that's true that's its its facebook status it's complicated <laughs> all right nice carapace oh, beautiful setup splitter to follow and the impale again nothing to say is dead 
And that's secret, man. Oh yeah, the classic wrestler, no global, we can fight easy. Well, he didn't have mana. <laughs> 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 oh, Impale set up onto Faith Beyond with the Solar Guardian, but a nice Tusk Snowball mitigates a lot of it as Crystal is possibly BKB a little bit prematurely. Starbreak doesn't really connect very well, but they still have the damage, it looks like, to take out Faith Beyond. And Jin Q is next on the list. So despite the secret initiation not going as planned, I mean, with this kind of a lead, it doesn't really matter sometimes. He's just holding Black Hole. He can't use it. So the impact of this hero very, very minimal so far in this game, considering what we've seen from Enigma earlier in the tournament, Secret seems to have a very good understanding of how to solve it. And this looks like Y will also finding a quick way back to base. As Grave. Yeah, Okay. Does. He kind of juked them by running in a line. Yeah, sometimes it's the, uh, uh, the okay. hardest path to follow. Okay. <laughs> that is really impressive that he found a way out of that. On the other side of the map, though, Jin Q gets off the initiation. Already has his shard as Zayats gets off the impale as Nisha has to walk his way around. But it looks like Jin Q is likely to fall. He's getting healed up, though. And still the Aegis in line for Nisha, so he is not scared. Eventually, Jin Q goes down, and there's the stun follow up. And Nisha, they're looking for the bear. That's all the damage that Ame has. I mean, to get Lightning Storm just down, he's diving. just gonna continue on now. They're looking for a full team wide potentially. Global Silence is there. Nisha just hedging his bets. GG is just called. And Secret completely stomped game number one. Not what we were expecting, but Secret off to an amazing start. Yeah, that was, that was not even remotely close. Just absolutely crushed them start to finish. The lanes went well. Let's see if, uh, if LGD are doing better in this game than the previous one because that was an absolute beatdown and they need to bring it back here to get us a third game. I feel like it was kind of, there was something about that draft that was a little bit surprising with the order. Um, oh, wh what would have been so bad about Marcy in this lane? Because she has a way to get away from. She does uh, have a way to get away as well. Yeah. Oh, glimpse back, Starbreaker, but a lot of it's mitigated thanks to Frost Shield coming out from Y. Not gonna, oh, I was gonna say it's not gonna lead to kill, but that is more damage than I thought. First blood ends up going to Puppy. Yeah. For Secret, despite losing in the CS and the outer lanes, able to get first blood. A nice double stun from Zayas, but the Avalanche is gonna keep him in place. Spirit Siphon and the tree toss is there. Jin Q gets credit for it. But yeah, the top lane, nice kill from Secret. I'm a little bit surprised that Ame didn't get more involved in trying to save his Lich, but I think he had creeps in the tower that he was prioritizing, and maybe the communication was Y saying, I'm fine, don't worry. Uh, well, Speaking of case. Y, yep. take some heavy damage here, but here comes the pounce from Ame. Chrysalis, it's going to be another Jingu stack coming out for Ame. And Puppy basically out of oh, mana right now. Stuns. Yeah, but a Starbreaker coming out. It does connect onto the Lich, but the Thunder God's Wrath finishes off two heroes. So nothing to say, despite being kind of a wash in the mid lane, now has two kills to his name. Secret are trying to fight into this Exo. It's going to be running out relatively soon, so I'm trying to time that perfectly. Rezo's going to show himself, though. His fortification was already popped as Jin Q. Oh. They do get the D word one way or the other, but it will be a deny. As you can see, oh, nothing to say, taking a lot of damage, actually, the heavenly jump on the other side, and he's just dead to Nisha. Big kill for Secret as now they try to pursue. That was whoa, a rebound whoa, into what? a toss, which helps the unleash a little bit here. Impale's gonna connect onto one, but now Resolution has to be a little bit careful. He gets off the dispose, and there's the Sinister Gaze you were talking about from Y. They do find the kill on the support, but Resolution falls in the end, oh. and a split arts just a millimeter off. And Nisha. Trying to oh, find some more value you said millimeter, here. Not inch. All right, Zinc Houston. Well, it was a millimeter. Inch is bigger than a millimeter. I don't know if you know that, Cinderin. No, you don't well, know what a millimeter is. Trivia time for you as Crystalis <laughs> hammers to the low ground. Looks like he's fine. If you do have one hero far away of the field in this game, oh, you want to we have the guy. impale. Nice setup from Resolution as well. Crystalis with a Solar Guardian. Faith Beyond is deleted. Big kill. With multiple setup stuns as Dawn. Thank you. Sir. And uh, yeah, I will never call you that again. Trust. <laughs> All right. Zayats. He's going to be spotted. Okay. Sinister Gaze is there. Resolution gets a nice stun off with his rebound. Looks like Y is mega dead as Faith Beyond coming in from the low ground with that exorcism. Jin Q following out behind with a static storm inside that kinetic field. They're going to try to focus down the DP, but she's healing so much. Now Resolution, he is getting low. The urn charge applied. One last little damage proc there from the exorcism, and Faith Beyond gets credit for that. The urn as well will now be turned into a vessel. So this time around, LGD with the healing reduction. I think to say he's going to do a nice job of dodging, but it doesn't matter. Chrysalis still has the damage. Boundless Strike connects on the two as Ame has come to play. But there is the glimpse, and that's going to reset things. So I won't even call it Marcy. It is the position three, technically. Yeah. They do get the, the position two Zeus. I mean, at this point, both Marcy and Dawn are kind of position three and a half <laughs> when you True. look at the net worth. So. I mean, we've seen a lot of games in the past where Secret kind of rely on Nisha to absolutely take over, and 
I want to say of all the people that is good at carrying on their back, he is probably number one on my list if I had to make one. As Zayats. Oh, oh, nice the horsey. horsey. Very good. Yep. But Ame is there. That's a longer horsey. Yeah, that's Primal a monkey. Spring. Monkey over horse, apparently. And Zayats will proc down. That was almost the name of your two cats. That's right. Thank you, Simba. You're welcome. One percent of the audience got that. That's fine. DP with the high damage at this point in time. Yeah, but this time. mid tier one, yep. kind of a big deal. You got to be careful of that thunderbolt if you're Zayats for that vision. Sentry there as well. They're gonna spot him. They're gonna try to burst him down. Thunder God's wrath is there as well. Looks like Puppy's gonna survive his Solar Guardian coming in now. They're gonna focus all their efforts onto this Lich, and the Zeus dies as well. So nothing to say. Takes a fall. This is gonna be a oh. third kill in this engagement, all for Seeker, and even a buyback coming out. They set that up so well. The Nyx definitely yeah, spotting some things out here. As we have a glimpse. Faith Beyond is out of there. Hastrun does spawn as Puppy's gonna take the brunt here. Boundless Strike, but he turns into a little pig. A couple more right clicks will do it. So support down for Secret. Trying to not break the smoke onto the Nyx. This would be a huge pick if they found Nisha, but reading this like a book and not getting caught. Getting away with that ward. He might be the one that suffers, but again, it's going to be a support potentially. He gets off the spike carapace, though. Exorcism is popped. Does that mean they want to try to go for Roach? They're trying to take a fight. Faith Beyond finding Chrysalis, slowing him down to Spirit Siphon, but the kinetic field blocks him off. And that might be all PSG LGD get, and that's a big cooldown that they have to take into account now. Oh, they might Thank even you. lose their Glimpse Tiny, the too. Split. Earth, hammers there as well. Down goes Tiny. Faith Beyond. He's here as well, but the exorcism is running out. Resolution forced to fight despite the spirit being applied to him. Oh Chris my god. Big Lich Oak onto two, and PSG LGD, despite being down in numbers at the start, end up taking this fight in space. Three for one, and Nisha left along with Zayats here in the top lane. Oh, they got insane value out of DP in that fight. Tiny close to Dagger, by the way. ZQ went phase boots and has just been quietly farming in the top lane for the last smoke. Or five ways. LGD, Avalanche clips Resolution, toss back into the Sinister Gaze, but Nisha's coming with the Solar Guardian help as well. Resolution ticking out very slowly. Looks like he will fall. No, he actually gets off the stun just in time with his Unleash, dispels the Urn Charge, and Jin Q looks like he's going to fall at the Crystalist double kill comes out, but finally Resolution does fall. So a little bit of a backwards engagement. All smiles. No, I'm not sure, but the toss, uh, I think it was bringing him closer, but the Sinister Gaze actually stopped him. Yeah, it stopped him mid air. Yeah. We're going to see a fight here. Faith Beyond doing a lot of damage, healing up with the Spirit Siphon. Here comes the Wukong's command from Ame, trying to focus down Nisha. It's up the Bloodstone, but will oh, that be enough? Hit. Spirit Siphon's still there. That's two for nothing. PSG LGD. Winning this fight, and now another Avalanche GQ looking for a target to toss. Oh, Chris was can't get to the low ground, though. Has to walk away the old-fashioned way. Gets off the Starbreaker. Nice really connects onto Ame. Silence to follow. But it looks like this is going to be the death of the position. One for Secret as PSG LGD win a big fight here in the mid-game. Huge for them. Monkey King unlocked. He gets involved with that BKB and finds the kill on the big... The big game on the other side, the Lash. To the enemy jungle. Faith Beyond. They see it's him far out. Yep. I moved himself to the other side. Might have missed out on the vision there. Now they saw him. Resolution with a nice rebound. Here comes the Solar Guardian as well with the Avalanche mitigating a lot of this right now. As Chrysalis focusing down Jin Q for the time being, as Faith Beyond looks to be dead. Just one more right click to go. So nice pick off for Secret. Oh, they found but Ame, next to his tier 2 tower, has to pop the BKB. Wukong's command to follow. Now there's no physical damage to go through this with that BKB activated. But they can try to continue on here once the BKB ends up running out. Wise can take the brunt of the damage now from the Starbreaker. So Secret getting everything they want. Ame, the only one left in this area. Looks like he does get away safely. That would have been just a disaster for PSG LGD. But still. Secret going to be extremely happy with what happened here. That looked like a really ambitious dive, but it works out very well. I don't think LGD were remotely ready for this to happen. Like the, the way their DP gets jumped, I think the just snap reaction there from ZQ on the Tiny was really impressive. He finds the blink into a good avalanche, but did not buy enough space. No BKB yet on the DP. Couldn't get away from a lot of the damage and then gets run down by Resso. Getting that magic damage reduction as well. But that said, Nisha popping, or rather revealing a BKB in the coming fight could become massive for Secret here. From LGT, LGD in the pit. Exorcism already popped. Zayat is going to spot it. The spike carapace comes out. Double impale. Tiny's just dead right off the bat. And now the focus is on Ame. He goes down to the post, though, but no buyback for the Monkey King as why. He's going to get chased now by Nisha. And a huge fight for Secret. 
We'll see if they can go into the pit and get this Roche, but the toss back from Jin Q. Avalanche is there as well. Resolution gets deleted, so maybe not with the numbers. Buyback now into the Lich. Puppy, attempting to TP out, he'll be fine. It is ready against Zayas, but that definitely did catch them off guard there. Like, imagine that exact situation with the Sentry. I actually think they just get the Roche. Yeah, we got another toss back. This time it's onto Puppy. It's going to be canceled a bit here. That's next to the Starbreaker, so it's a one for one on the supports. I mean, Exo's still down for a minute. Not sure if Secret will have time to try to take advantage as we can see a blink now onto Nisha. That's a dieback on GQ, by the way. That's, That's true, a, a full death. minute That's will do a lot of damage. In it, gives him, it gives him the possibility of preventing Monkey King from playing the game, right? Oh, wow. If, if, you, if you do get the right setup without uh, Wukong's command down, Marcy can beat Monkey by straight up. This is huge for Secret, though. Don't think. So. I mean, do LGD even Exo try this? Exo is up in five. It's too late. On, yeah, looks this like it's too late. Awesome play call here from Secret to go for this. They know Tiny has no buyback. Oh, oh they're gonna try to jump face beyond. Frost Shield's gonna keep him healthy for a little longer. Pops the BKB. Do they oh, have the physical damage stop. to go through? But Monkey King with the balance strike. Ame comes to play. Bash applied to resolution now, but the rebound onto the other side of the river. He'll be fine. But Nisha looks like he wants to try to fight. Gets off the Yule's Faithy on now on the outskirts of this fight. That is a dead lash, but that is just the Aegis. Exorcism still going. Zayats gets the impale onto one. But now they're trying to turn this around onto the Monkey King. There's the Starbreaker from Chrysalis. And that is the death of Ame. 50 seconds on the deck. And PSG LGD, they get the Aegis technically out of the hands of Secret. But it does cost them. You know, that reliable slow to once again stick. Nothing to say. Seconds. Impale is there. The stun from Resolution with the Basher as well. Nothing to say. Has to use BKB. But the glimpse back, they're gonna find the support. No, Faith Beyond pops the BKB as well. But this is both in defensive measures as Resolution finds the distance because he's playing Marcy and down goes nothing to say. Yeah, nice okay. Looking for the support, but Zayats is there to try to counteract this. Solar Guardian coming in as well. Ame pops the BKB along with Chrysalis, but Starbreaker deletes Y from the face of the map, and now they're inside Wukong's command. No bash. Have to get the hell out of there as Resolution. Looks like he's gonna live, uses the rebound to get a little bit extra distance. Zayat and company now focusing down, Faith Beyond on the Death Prophet. Another valuable kill and another valuable fight for Secret. Beyond the best ability. I mean, it's debatable, maybe Spirit Siphon is his best ability, but you know. <laughs> True. Uh, puppy. If they want him, he's yeah. dead. They do. Okay. Avatar. Zayas wants to come in, though. They've lost Puppy already. He does have the buyback available. His Thunder God's Wrath is there. Looks like Zayas is going to barely limp away, but no, nothing to say there to finish him off. Now, Resolution, he's taking so much damage. The rebound onto the other side of the map again. Rezo is fine. 70 seconds of no nicks. Must have been a dieback, technically. Uh, puppy. puppy. Static Storm. Okay. <laughs> Enough to take out Jin Q. Very cocky play from Puppy, but it kind of works out, but. Again, if they get the kill, this will technically be a dieback for him. Found the strike, and it looks like it will be just that. But there, there's no Roche to get. I believe Nisha. He's level 17. What the hell? Remember his start? Yes. That's level okay. 2 at like seven and a half yeah, minutes. That's a good recovery. Oh, gets oh, the carapace. Yes. Very good initiation. But Jin Q is there with the avalanche. Will it be enough? No. Nothing to say. It goes down to. Another member of Secret, that Starbreaker has been deleting heroes. And of course, you've said it time and time again, Zayats has been setting up every single initiation. LGD would love to not fight for the next 300 gold on Ami. Just get that Scotty. It's a really big game changer for them to get that unlocking. It's going to help them so much against the Lash as long as he gets to play the fight on the MK. Look how much they're covering him. It's like. Resolution with the double damage, oh, by the way. Nothing to say is dead. And a stun onto several heroes now. Two dead for LGD to just start out the fight. Another Starbreaker, but now Chrysalis and company outside the Wukong's command. The glimpse back on the Faith Beyond, and he is dead. Triple kill for Resolution. There are all buybacks available for LGD, so she could have to be a bit careful with this. And why? He's going to die inside his own base. He is the one lone member of LGD without the buyback at the moment. So 12k lead for Secret, Roche is available, and we'll see if they try to go for that before trying to push high ground. I mean, a lot of time we think about like high ground defense, but when you're going high ground yourself, it's actually not too shabby as well. Avalanche here, Wukong's command expended. Is it just for Puppy though? Looks like it is for now as Nisha, and he's perfectly fine to try to fight this out on the other side of the Wukong's command. Here comes a Solar Guardian as well, Faith Beyond is dead. 
But the toss back onto Nisha, but now the Wukong Command is down. The BKB finally activate for Ami. It's a big balance strike. A lot of damage coming out from nothing to say. So they get the two supports in the end, but now nothing to say. He's the one getting pursued by Nisha. Split Earth connects. Pulse Nova continuing to go in again. The Aegis still intact for Secret. Frost Shield not going to mitigate any of that magic damage, and the Starbreaker is enough. Another death for nothing to say, and two cores dead for LGD with no buybacks. Overwhelming Blink obviously will make it very easy for him to, first of all, be tanky and also set up his own stun. And Nisha, yeah. not in his level 25. And toss back. Toss back, and something you have to be a little bit careful when he pops a BKB. And Jin Q is punished really hard. So we're just gonna not connect thanks to BKB from Faith Beyond. That's the buyback now to Jin Q. That'd be careful because nothing to say is now available to fight. They're gonna try to turn this around as Resolution jumps in with his BKB, focusing down Ame, but the Wukong's command can get so much armor as Resolution gets destroyed. 80 seconds of no Marcy. Another okay. pause for secret as PSG LGD showing some life here. They find three kills with no reciprocation. Toss MVP. And they are smoked up. Even after the nerfs, you can easily afford this if you go Scotty. It's something, especially we've seen Faceless Voids in the past go for as a build-up to refresh. Oh, oh he's going to be the one that gets popped here, but pops the BKB very early. Gets off the Slitter, trying to play around it, but the Jingle's about to proc here as well. The command is there, and Nisha has to use the Yule on himself. But he's likely just going to be left alone, and he's going to be brought down. A huge kill for LGD. There are buybacks for both main members here from Secret. You really have to be on your toes against this team. Like, you have a big lead, sure, but this is the one thing that can't happen for Secret is that they find Lesh without support. Like, if anyone else is in that line of fire, it's not that bad. Like, you could have lost a Nyx there, you could have lost a Marcy, you could have lost a Disruptor, but... Nisha cannot get out once he gets slowed down by that Scotty. Yeah, he, he has some good setup, up. right? He has the Nyx. Oh, speaking of... Yeah, Solar Guardians there. Looks like Jin Q will die. 90 here. seconds of no tiny here. If you play tight like this with Sentry Wards, it's a lot harder for Zayas <laughs> to find the impact. Uh, very synced up on those Shivas there. Faith Beyond versus Nisha, but the BKB prevents the glimpse from being used. Oh, uh, Rezo's thinking. Oh, he's yeah. going in. He gets the bash to start oh. things out, and Faith Beyond is evaporated here. And now they're going to get the Lich on top of it. Has to buy back. And we can see that Roche is available. I'm not sure if they're aware. And this is the one with the Aghanim Scepter. Aghanim it, Scepter was officially purchased now by Puppy. So, you know what I mean? they don't have? They don't have a Force Staff. And on PSG? Yeah, that feels like an oversight to not have that item, right? I know you're playing against Glimpse, but you need some sort of way of getting out of Starbreaker, of getting out of... Oh, away from and oh. And they're going to jump in. Solo Guardian coming in at the end. It looks like Bethia might drop inside the Wukong's command. And they have to just right, try to reset. And is gonna live thanks to the Eon Disc and just burrow his way back to full HP. The Jin Q is dead as well without buyback available. Now they just wait out the Wukongs. Oh, he got the oh, stun again! Go in again with Chrysalis' and Starbreaker decimating time and time again. But there's Ame's Refresher. A Wukong's command to follow. Chrysalis eats the cheese, tries to get four staff, but not gonna live through this engagement. They did find Niche, okay. Gets off the Yule, but instantly canceled. Dude, that this was a neutral item. Shard. Is actually doing work so that he can at least stay alive for a moment. Faith Beyond! Uh oh. Inside the Static Storm. Remember, he can't use any items inside of it, and he's dead. 90 seconds of no death profit. Ame trying to get some revenge, but Resolution ends up using Rebound to the other side. Only one inside Wukong's command right now, but three dead for PSG LGD. And now Ame looks to be next. The Starbreaker is coming just for him. Specialty from Secret. He has to buy back instantly. Now Resolution with the Dispose, onto nothing to say, has to pop the BKB himself, but this looks like it might be the beginning of the end for LGD in this upper bracket. Rebound, not proc there, but again, Chrysalis with the Starbreaker. And this is going to be several sets of racks, if not potentially GG. Faith Beyond just disappears. It's like LGD want to access this high ground. They're like, what hero can we send in first that can possibly survive? And he should be the choice, right? You've got, heart. You have Heart, Shiva, BKB. He dies before he gets BKB off. He literally just gets killed 100 to 0. Even with Lich's protection, it wasn't enough. Oh, Zayax finds Ame. This is going to be a dieback for him, potentially. And it will. Double Starbreaker. GG is called. And secret 2 0 PSG LGD, sending them to the lower bracket. And they're going to face off against Thunder Predator. My goodness. I don't think anybody was expecting that potential matchup in the upper bracket, but. Wow, what a series from Seek.